Why do we wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a holiday that is celebrated all around the world. It's called St. Patrick's Day. And on St. Patrick's Day, you know, people wear green and they're celebrating Ireland and they're, you know, like they eat corned beef and cabbage and it's like this big, big deal. And, you know, I like St. Patrick's Day because, well, I'm already green. But I was wondering, you know, what is St. Patrick's Day actually? You know, who even is St. Patrick? He's not a leprechaun. So I decided to look it up. I wanted to know who St. Patrick was. It turns out St. Patrick was a missionary who lived like 1,500 years ago, like in the 5th century A.D. And here's kind of like a really brief synopsis of his life. See, he started in a Christian family, but he wasn't a Christian himself. It's just his family was Christian, and he got kidnapped by pirates, like for real. He got kidnapped by pirates, and then he got taken to Ireland and sold as a slave. And so he lived in Ireland as a slave for several years. And while he was there, you know, he remembered the stories that he heard of Jesus, and and he became a Christian. And at some point, he found an opportunity to escape. So he ran away, and he went back to his home. You know, he left Ireland. You know, if it was me, I would have been like, oh, I'm so glad to be away from Ireland where I was a slave. I'm never, ever, ever going back. And if I do go back, it's going to be like with an army to get revenge. But no, he went back home and he, you know, stayed there for a little while, but he got the support of the church and he went back to Ireland to work as a missionary to tell people about Jesus. And it said that he used a three-leaf clover to explain the Trinity to the Irish people, you know, the the Trinity, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the one true God, three in one. And that's one of the reasons why we see three-leaf clovers all over the place on St. Patrick's Day. Sometimes we call that three-leaf clover a shamrock. And, you know, Ireland is awesome. And a big part of St. Patrick's Day is, you know, celebrating Ireland and the Irish people. I totally think we should celebrate Ireland because Jesus loves Ireland and Jesus loves you, wherever you are. And, you know, the green, I think, is, is just, you know, they call it the Emerald Isle. Ireland's called the Emerald Island. Emerald is a green color. So that's probably why we wear it green. Jesus loves Ireland. Jesus loved Ireland so much that he sent St. Patrick to them to tell them the good news. But yeah, he went back to Ireland and he told people about Jesus. And I read that he started more than 300 churches and baptized more than 100,000 people. That's crazy. And these were the people that enslaved him. And there's all kinds of other interesting things that he's credited as doing, you know, some cool miraculous things. But for me, the fact that he went back to the people who enslaved him and he told them about Jesus, he told them what was most important for them to hear, even though they were mean to him. Man, that's something to celebrate. That's something to strive for. St. Patrick told the people who were mean to him the good news of Jesus Christ. And God used him to save so, so, so many people. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would remember what is really important this St. Patrick's Day and that you would share the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone, even people who are mean to you, just like St. Patrick did. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day, you know, we're celebrating St. Patrick and Ireland and the Irish people and that's really cool. And I, I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna hear where you are from. Cause I know there are people who watch my videos all over the world and that is so cool. I think it's so cool that we're all a part of the same body of Christ all over the world. doesn't matter if you're Irish or Japanese or Australian or, or you're from, you know, Uganda or you're from Israel or Honduras, you know, all over the world. We're all part of the same body of Christ and God loves all of us. So I want to hear in the comments, where are you watching this video from?